All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So I did want to do a video kind of like focusing on the Ginyu Force uh, kind of like special campaign thing they have going on right here. I do like to just cover all of the content. Um, they released a series of missions, and I, I, I truly don't understand why they split some of this up. So if you guys remember, during the Frieza celebration, I feel like this LR Ginyu, like Topo... And Frieza might have been, like, it might have been good if they had been switched, right? Their celebrations. Um, they updated all the Team Bardock missions and stuff like that. They consolidated the events. They easied the LR Team Bardock, right? They got it all easy for new players. They sort of did it with the Ginyu Force stuff then. Um, at least, you know, kind of revamping the events, making it easy to grind up the characters. But now they're kind of finishing it off and they're kind of matching everything that the team bardock got in terms of missions and content and stuff like that they are now matching um with the ginyu force as well so what i want to do in this video is i just want to clear all of this go over all of this stuff um and kind of get this done so we have the ginyu special sentai training campaign here um the Ize area has been renewed if you are a global player get these stages done if you've never done them before because it will be permanent power level to do this like okay every time you do a stage for the first time ever you get power level so if you've done the stages on global you've done them you got the power level for completing those stages for the first time then when it gets renewed they're technically new stages you'll be able to get new power level again it's a way to get power level without having to do tedious link leveling which a lot of people don't like to do right so definitely keep that in mind um so, you know, being able, like, we'll go through, we'll check out, like, if the stage is, like, they're super that much different. Uh, there's a new mission in the Legendary Goku event. Um, I did actually already record that, but I will probably put this up before that Goku event mission, just because I haven't gotten the thumbnail for that mission yet. Uh, but I did actually already record that. I mean, it's Ginyu Force against the Legendary Goku event. The Ginyu Force is a red zone level team, so, I mean, Legendary Goku event is not a challenge to the Ginyu Force. Uh, so there's a bunch of missions. We're going to look at those in two seconds. Uh, the easy area, uh, new missions have been added as well, which, you know, I already have had all these characters easy for years. Um, so like, cause like this character, they got their easy, what was that June of 2022? Damn, that was two, that was two years ago. Like I remember playing dead by daylight and like in golden freeze as easy announced. That was two years ago. What? How does time move so fast? Legendary Goku event got the new mission. Um, and then these are just up unlimited Remember, th but this, this event was already previously revamped here. Let, let's actually jump over here. We can just grab all these missions. We're going to go look at the easy area in two seconds. Um, I, you know, I didn't do any of the stages. It's just the missions are already done from when I had previously gotten all the characters easy aid. Um, you know, again, I got them done years ago. So we got those and then we have several of these missions done. Um, I think mainly it's the super battle road stages i have to finish in here let's just grab these and then we'll we will make sure to finish out the rest of these missions during, oh whoops i want to click them all we'll make sure to finish these missions out during the course of this video uh i'll i'll do a lot of skipping around and stuff like that so uh one big thing about the bardock uh well the frieza celebration when they revamped the team bardock stuff and then of course the the ginyu stuff a lot of it was these events right here if we go down these so remember they used to be over here by the way th this section is starting to you know really get a lot because all these story events are being revamped into dragon ball story right all the ginyu force events and team bardock events which used to be on this side they really do need to like uh, like they gotta we need another option like this dokkan events easy areas and challenge events all three of them should be their own tab Right, like easy areas, challenge events, and Dokkan events. Like this is just this goes on forever. There's just infinite events in here. Well, not right now, I guess. Well, there's not like, but like when all the Dokkan events are up, like it's great. There's so many events, so much stuff always over there. Um, but yeah, the the again, these are the events right here. Um, it was all new stages, very consolidated, much easier to grind these characters up, which is good. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look at the easy area stages. Um, I'll probably just quickly knock these out. I don't know. Yeah, here it is right here. So I probably have not done any of these stages, right? Because they're just, it, it's completely going to be brand new, right? Yeah, th these are like literally brand new. Um, okay, so I'm probably just going to, let me just peek my head in. 
at this first stage. Uh, oh, it's completely brand new as in... Okay. Um, so this is the Goldo stage. It doesn't let us use the new LR Ginyu Force though, huh? But we are able to use Dokkan Fest Ginyu. Probably just do this. Yeah, that that's... <laughs> They don't yet let us use the new LR. Come on. They couldn't let us use the new LR Ginyu? Oh, we got... Souls up there? Is this a stage that can be autoed? Okay, well, regardless... This, yeah, yeah. so so this, this looks good. Um, we have these new... Like, it's just going to be very easy. For someone who hasn't done these before, it, it's just going to be very easy to get these done... Um, easy AVs characters and stuff like that. Uh, I'll probably just cut um, and quickly just go through these stages, get all these cleared. Um, and then after that, we'll go ahead and uh, finish up any remaining missions, right? Um, I do really like um, that they've done this, though. Um, you know, kind of like, like revamped all this for newer players. Dokkan is going to be very intimidating to new players because you have years like you know some of us in this community it's like oh my god they didn't drop 50 red zone stages every celebration oh there's nothing to do in the game right well a lot of people that say there's something to do in the game don't grind anything up anyway but, um for a new player who's just coming in and there's a thousand years of content every celebration has added all this content and it's just all sitting there unclaimed missions like where do i start where do i begin how do i build up a team what do i do Right? It's like, I, I feel like Dokkan, by making these easy areas consolidated and the Ginyu Force and Team Bardock stages, like how the grind those characters up consolidated, that's the first thing. Get the Ginyu Force done. Ginyu Force is a team that can clear, again, all the way up to, you know, the Wicked Bloodline Red Zone is where the Ginyu Force started to have a bit of trouble, but you could still do it. Um, but then it was after that where it was like a true struggle. The Wicked Bloodline Red Zone was definitely a struggle for Ginyu Force. It, it was. I remember the Metal Cooler fight was so hard because Metal Cooler was healing. Like, he was out healing my damage. That Metal Cooler Wicked Blood. I did I did the no item run, but it was very tough because of how much he was healing. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clear all these stages here because, you know, listen, guys. Daddy needs that power level. I'll be right back when all six are done. All right, there we go. So we got all of the uh, easy area stages done, right? Again, that uh, is quite a bit of power level added as well. Um, remember, guys, right now, 3 million is the power level you want to hit if you want to get all of the bonuses. Uh, without question, that is going to steadily increase, right? I'm sure nice bonuses will become available with higher. So I would suggest, I mean, I don't think that people need to dedicate their life to link level and stuff like that, but just kind of like, you know, moderately working at it, you know, maybe like using a boost on quest mode every day or something like that should suffice, right? So we got those done. Um, let's head back over to the mission tab and let's go over the actual uh, Ginyu Force missions. Um, now, I believe the first ones of these we saw, I think was actually on global where it was structured this way with physical Goku Black. Um, and then we got one of these for the freeze the celebration, uh, and now one of these as well, where it's just kind of like a general set of missions, um, including like taking out, uh, like, you know, the, the OG super battle road stages and stuff like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look what we got here. So clear stage six of the special training. Oh, we're probably going to have to redo that again. Okay. Oh, clear 10 times with the free to play team. I could pro I'll probably just do, like, the Whis event. Just grind up some equips while we do that. Okay. Uh, this one I should have done because I've got all the characters easy aid. Get them all to SA-15. Again, should be done. Uh, this one got done. At the Again, I, I already recorded this, but I don't... At this video I'm talking in now is probably going to go up before this one, but we did that. That's Ginyu Force category against Legendary Goku event. Uh, stage 25 of Super Battle Road. 25 of Extreme Super Battle Road. That's got to be the Ginyu Force stage and then clear all missions. So let's just go ahead and take a look here. So yeah, okay. So we got to do stage six of that event. We got to clear 10 times with the free-to-play team and then do the two Super Battle Road stages. That's all the missions that we have to do. Okay, sure. Uh, we could pretty easily do this. I mean, I can, I I'll skip around for this. 
right? I, I do kind of like to get all the content done, do all the missions, but, like, I already have videos, you know, of no item clears of all these events and stuff like that. So, like, we could just, you know, fast forward through them. So, we want to go through this right here. And it did say stage six. Uh, we're not going to need to do the scenario for this. All right, let's jump in. Um, and then, oh, there's the free-to-play team right there. Is this the one where you have to use the free-to-play team? It is, yeah. Okay. I can't remember what the last stage is for. Oh, it's the equips. Uh, the, the final stage of the two events is how we get the equips. Remember, uh, it used to be the Grand Priest event. Um, and then they kind of like put like, um, you know, Bardock and Ginyu on it. This is where we were able to get the equips uh, for those free-to-play characters. And now, obviously, they've changed it up significantly, just adding the equip stage to the end. That's why this is good for free players, man. Newer players, I... Like, I almost... I, I, you know what's funny? I had started working on a new player guide in... Tw like, it was like April or... It was May of 2023. Because I recorded about two hours of it while I was... Uh, like, like, and the game I was playing at the time was Strangers of Paradise, the Final Fantasy spinoff game. Um, so, I was, yeah, May of 2023. But I, I just... It's just, like, it's, wor it's worthless. Now, half of the footage in there was me saying... Like, you know, JP gets the content early, but I heavily recommend beginner players to play global. Like, I was repeating myself over and over with that. Because global, despite the fact that we could talk about the, oh, global shafts and we can get all that type of stuff, blah, 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 blah. I, I mean, a lot of people get very sensitive on the topic, but global does just flat out get treated better. It, it does. Like, you, you can't really argue it. There's a lot of, like, goofy ass shit. That only happens on global. It doesn't happen on like JP and stuff like that. Yes. But like when you just, if you are a global free to play player, all of the t free ticket summons for the best banners in the game's history, like all these anniversaries and shit like that, I like you can't even compare JP treatment to that. Like, like these are tickets you get summoning on the anniversary banners. And then you're just like the amount of like, you know, free anniversary LRs that like global like free-to-play players got compared to jp free-to-play players would be insane so all right so we have to use the free-to-play team so um bam goldo jace birder raccoon okay now it did say 10 times so we did just do it once uh we we, we cleared that last stage once so i guess i'll come back i'm just gonna do this right here uh i'll just go ahead and grind up you know nine equips from this event Maybe we'll get a good equip from this. Probably not. I, I would say maybe every 20 runs, 25 runs, a lot of times I get like a decent equip. You know, maybe like a bronze combo, like a, you know, two additional and one crit or like a two crit and a one dodge, something like that. Or a good silver combo or a good gold combo, but it is pretty uncommon. I'll come back once we have the 10 clears done right here with the team getting the mission done. All right, guys, we got the mission done there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now it wanted us to go ahead and go clear uh, the Ginyu Force Super Battle Road stage and then the Ginyu Force Extreme Super Battle Road stage. Uh, these both also would be very easy for a long time. I mean, it was basically only the free-to-play Ginyu Force characters that you could use for these. So these will go down very, very free. And then here's the extra thing. <laughs> yeah, see, the last time I did this, there was several options we did not have access to. That's what we're rocking here. <laughs> and we should be able to, yup, bring that bad boy in. All right, so I'll just go ahead and clear this. Again, I mean, I have a no item run with this back before most of these, like all these characters were easy eight and stuff like that. So uh, we'll just clear this um, and then I shall return. All right, pretty easy, pretty fast. Uh, that is cleared away. Yeah, really, really, really not tough to get these done. Huh? <laughs> Again, the last time I ventured through this stage, I mean, we are talking about quite a while ago. Uh, the last time I actually did this stage. So this uh, certainly is going to set our new record, I would imagine, for a speedy completion. Let's go ahead and see here. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Two minutes and 39 seconds as opposed to 16 minutes. So we shaved a little bit of time. 
We shaved a little bit of time off of it. Okay. All right. So now we just need to do the same stage, but the extreme Super Battle Road uh, version instead. Uh, and that is still going to be stage 25. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, as a new player, just like all of these stages of content, like slowly building up all these category teams and all this stuff, right? Like, it would, it would take quite a while. We'll just use the same team right there. Uh, these are essentially going to be our strongest characters. Um, and then, of course, we'll bring in the Ginyu. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will be right back as soon as we clear this. Again, I'm prob I'm just going to let it auto. I do not even imagine I have to un-auto for this. Alrighty, There we go. That should be that. So uh, with this, we should have all of the missions done for this like uh, little miniature Ginyu Force kind of thing here. Um, I mean, this is how I guess they're going to tackle content. I mean, with things like burst mode being a thing, right? They're easily able to implement a burst mode every celebration, you know, to create content without, I think, actually having to put much dev time in. It's going to be something with super easy A's now. It seems like every celebration is going to have a major, you know, LR or Dokkan Fest easy A plus a super easy A. That's going to be really good. All right. Got it done much quicker. Sure. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get all the missions cleared here. Uh, leading into the celebration, I finally, at this point, have had all missions in the game done, which is really exciting because uh, it's been, you know, years since they added the Master Roshi. That was in, what, 2021? They added the, the daily event, uh, the Roshi event. So let's go ahead and grab that. Yep, we got all those done. Perfect, perfect. Another copy of this LR Ginyu from it. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm probably just going to bob it. I don't need it. Uh, then there's the Sandland one. Those are just logging in. Uh, there's a couple here I actually got to get done. Probably just use, like, items or something like that. Um, and then some legendary freeze event missions as well. And the burst mode. Can't forget that. So, there we go. We got the Ginyu stuff done. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you all next time.